phone? How I kill him? You you try to steal phone? No, what? How I get him in my car? Just try to steal. <laughs> How we visited his place and met his wife? Then here oh, we go. Really? This one. This man is the first target who looks like a thief. Very suspicious. Because there is a man who said, "Let's bring a tire." It means they're gonna burn him alive on the street. But I don't want. Did I? Did I not just say that? Did so I not I just say that? What's going on, guys? You already know it's your boy M to the A to the C to the K A Y advice, and I'm back again with another video. This time around, we're gonna be talking about pickpockets. If you don't know who a pickpocket is, a pickpocket is a thief who surreptitiously steals money and valuables from people's pockets or bags or whatever you, you feel me. So if you're a pickpocket watching this, please stop this nonsense. Oh yes, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Do you know, do you know the damage you've caused some people just by stealing their valuables, their important documents? Stop it. Before we go any further, guys, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. This is Mr. Consistency bringing you another video. So please be sure to do all that good stuff. Thank you. Let's get to the video for today. The video, by the way, is going to show us how to catch pick pockets. So just in case you have a lot of pick pockets in your neighborhood, wherever you stay, this is going to be a good way to catch them. Today, we're gonna show you how phone snitcher was trying to steal my phone. How I caught him. You, you tried to steal phone. No, what? How I get him in my car. Just tried to steal. <laughs> how we visited his place and met his wife. Then here oh, we go. Oh really? This one. This man is the first target who looks like a thief. Very suspicious. He was staring at my phone so many times, and actually, I knew him. I know him. I know him. This guy. Yeah, big guy. A month ago, I was taking a video and I found him. At the time, also he was very suspicious. Also, I could check how he's walking. Check the right arm. It's moving more than left arm. And right foot is more open than left foot. Definitely it's him. Anyway, my Man. friend pretended to sleep. And I was filming everything behind her. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's checking his situation. No eyes on him, heavy traffic, and he found a way for running away. He is ready. Action! Catch So the fool oh, was thinking he was going to be able to snap that phone. In this time, Damn. I wasn't ready for opening the door. That's why I could block him easily. Come on, don't and... Do Come here, come here. Don't run, don't run. Thief. Take it, take it, take it. So you know what these fools, you know what they do sometimes, right? So they go to crowded areas where they know there are a lot of people there. And it's going to be easy for them to just, as soon as they steal that stuff, they're trying to steal the phone, bag, whatever, whatever you, they just start running. So they look for places where that has like different corners or different hideouts. Let me put it that way. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy. There are so many people that have gone through this bad experience. It's not even a thing to laugh about. We need to put a stop to this nonsense, bro. I have an advice, right, for men. Let me say this right quick. I have an advice for men that put their wallet in their back pocket. Do not do that, man. That is so risky. Trust me. I always put my, my wallet in my front pocket. And then let me see which thief will be bold enough to come to me and steal my wallet in my front pocket. Let me see the thief that will come there. This is an important topic to discuss. See the fool. See the fool. Stinking the guy escaped. No, you're not escaping today, man. Jungle justice on you. Help me. 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 Help you you try to steal phone. Oh, I got I have camera. No. And he's still denying it. I have camera. Come. Oh, what, 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 what? I don't know what you're doing. What I don't you know. Be, you want to be here or what? This is in Kenya. Okay, come, come. No, why? I'm not playing. Okay, I'm not playing. What I want to do? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. You just stole, bro. No. I'm thinking they're gonna do I'm thinking they're gonna do jungle justice on this dial. 
There was a man who beat him a lot of times. He beat him up. And again, John Good Justice is on his way, boy. Hopefully, don't light this guy up. Man. Because there is a man who said, "Let's bring a tire." It means they're gonna burn him alive on the street. But I don't want. Did I? Did I not just say that? Did I not just say that? Just get, just get. Bring a tire. I asked some questions. Why? Why did you do that? Because at home they have problems. He has some problems. He can't afford a rent. 4,000 Kenya shilling per month. It's around 35 US dollars. Also, he has three kids and a pregnant wife. He said there was no choice. And I asked, how much do you get from that? 4,000, 5,000. 4,000, 5,000. It's around 40 US dollars. A few weeks ago, I posted this on the community. 3,700 people replied, thieves should be dead. It means He's taking a risk of his life for $40. After the interview, I wanted to check his place, so I asked about his place. Okay, let's go there. Oh my god. In my own. It's not a safe place for us. You can go and find him some more trouble. And I decided to go there. We go to his place? Yes. This is really kind though. When we were up there, this kind I was of this not guy. sure that he was leading us to his home or a dangerous place. I couldn't trust him. The building was so dark. But the house door wow. was locked. He said his wife is supposed to be at home, but she's not. Let me ask you all this question. Would you follow a pickpocket to his house to, to see where he stayed and just try to help him out? Would you do something like that? Don't you think it's dangerous? I mean, what do you think? Let me know in the comments though. Because they might just take you to <laughs> to <laughs> their cabal. And then when you get there, you know you're trapped. The person that caught him is really, really nice, man. For him to be able to show this level of kindness to him is just amazing. But would you do something like that, though? Let me know in the comments. And they don't have a phone. So we waited and waited. At the moment, I felt uncomfortable feeling. We were surrounded by children who were smiling for us. And I could see the thief at the same time. And also, I could see a church right in front of his place. A church. Finally, I met his pregnant wife, but we didn't say anything about the phone. Because he said that, she doesn't know he's doing that. Also, I promised him not to tell anything about it. So we just told her, we're just making a documentary. Yeah. She was very nice to us. After that, I just left. The day was over. I felt so uncomfortable. I don't have to feel sorry for them, but I felt. Even he's a thief, even he should stop that. I could understand his situation a little bit. But anyway, stealing someone's phone is not right. I told him a lot of things the day. At the end, he said he doesn't want to go to town again anymore because he got scared. Thank you for watching. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pickpockets, please, y'all need to stop stealing from people, man. Like, they have different methods, styles, and, you know, they can be very, very slick. Some of them even have scissors. Where, let's say, you know, those people that have the carry-on bags like this, and it's really dangerous when you go to a place like Ikorodu, places like Surulere, Oshodi, all those crowded places, Yanopaja, New York all those crowded places people like that are always present so even if you're going to you know carry any of your valuables and stuff be careful while you're carrying them you might even you might even put them in front what i do sometimes if i go to crowded place like that and i have a bag i, I just i prefer putting my bag in front instead of at the back like the the part where i put all my valuables and stuff in there documents and stuff i put it in front because you just never know. Those people can be so slick. They will cut it in a way where you have no idea that they already cut it. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's really, really crazy, man. But anyways, I, I just wanted to um, let you guys know about this video. And how to catch pickpockets. You know, there's some times where you have to set a trap for them. You feel me? Set a trap for them and catch this person. And people on the street, you know, jungle justice. Put in a tire of the person then and try to the person up but that that's not that's not good though was it good <laughs>
anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to like comment share subscribe turn on post notifications all that good stuff and uh yeah then sorry guys before you go please be sure to follow me on instagram my instagram is going to be right here so please follow me on instagram right now after that send me videos that you would love for me to react to and i'll definitely react to them for y'all you know what i'm saying it's not easy making these videos but for you guys i'm gonna keep making them because i love interacting with you guys leave your comments down below and yeah that's gonna be it from me for today and i'll see you guys on the next one peace pickpockets y'all need to stop or else or else you know what's gonna happen to you <laughs>